Hey everybody, it's Jenny from Norman S. Wright. We're gonna continue on with indoor air quality and filtration, and I wanna talk specifically about MERV and ASHRAE standard 52.2. So let's get started. In one of my early videos, I discussed filter basics and MERV ratings. ASHRAE Standard 52.2, 2017, titled Method of Testing General Ventilation Air Cleaning Devices for Removal Efficiency by Particle Size, is the standard that covers the testing and rating of filters. ASHRAE recognized the need to provide a standard that would allow users to evaluate a filter based on the filter's ability to remove specific contaminants based on the contaminant's particle size, and that's where ASHRAE 52.2 came from. 52.2 defines the efficiency of MERV 1 through 16 filters by particle size. So let's move this out of the way and bring up the MERV table from the standard. The MERV rating of a filter is the highest MERV number where it meets all the requirements for each range. For instance, a MERV 13 filter has to be at least 50% efficient in range 1, 85% efficient in range 2, and 90% efficient in range 3. This allows you to choose a filter based upon the particular contaminant you want to remove. For example, if your concern is pollen, which ranges from 2.5 microns and up in size, you can select a filter based on that particle size. So you would select a filter with at least 80% efficiency in range 2 or 3. So a MERV 9 if you have larger particles, or MERV-12 if you think your pollen particles are all going to be 2.5 microns. If the concern is bacteria, we're looking at particles around 0.3 to 1 micron. So you'll want to select a filter that is 85 to 90% efficient in the range 1, like a MERV-15. Okay, so let's move this over and make a little more room again. It's important to note that filters can be produced with an electrostatic charge which acts like a magnet on particles of all sizes and increases capture efficiency when the filter's clean. But as these filters get dirtier, the capture efficiency will go down. This results in a higher MERV value assigned to the filter when tested as a new filter. But as the filter begins to load with dirt, the charge can no longer attract particles and the capture efficiency drops. This means that it will perform like a lower rated MERV filter over time. ASHRAE 52.2 Appendix J has an optional test method for determining filter efficiency without electrostatic charge. The resulting values, denoted in MERV A ratings, more closely represent the filter's efficiency in real use over time. Not all manufacturers do the Appendix J test, so you should be careful when you compare MERV ratings. For instance, a MERV A14 rated filter and a MERV-14 rated filter that has an electrostatic charge may perform the same when new, capturing 75% of the 0.3 to 1 micron particles, but after some use, while the MERV-A14 filter will still have 75% efficiency, the MERV-14 could drop to effectively a MERV-12, which only captures 35% of those same particles, and that's a pretty big drop in performance. Not only would you not be filtering all the small particles that you think you are, these particles can pass through the filter and end up on your coils, increasing static pressure and reducing the performance of your system. Just be aware when you're looking at data, whether it's MERV A ratings or just MERV ratings. And remember that MERV A ratings will give you a better representation of how the filter will perform over time. So that's an overview of ASHRAE 52.2 and Appendix J. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for watching.